Rather than using a filing label sheet of 30 labels to print just a few labels, you could use Avery's mini sheets. A package of Avery's 2181s contained 25 mini sheets of white file folder labels with 12 labels per sheet. Here's a close up. Notice the readable print and red arrows indicate the top end, which is inserted first. You can tear along the center's perforated line and create two mini half sheets of six labels each. Here's the center line. Fold and tear. There are templates in Avery Wizard for both the 12 label and 6 label mini sheets. 12 label and 6 label. We'll print labels in a minute, but first it's worth knowing there are Avery mini sheets for address, shipping, and file folders. This is a practical alternative when you only print a few labels infrequently. Of course, you could always run a partially used 8.5 by 11 sheet through an inkjet printer until you use up all the labels as I've demonstrated. You can decide what works best for you. Let's print on a mini sheet by creating five file folder labels for keeping track of bills. Open Avery Wizard. Click Next. and enter 2181 in the product number box. Click search. Now select the file labels half sheet and click next. There are six templates. Select the blank template and click Next. Select Type Many Different Entries on a Sheet. Next. Notice there's no quantity box because each label will be different. Change the font size to 22. Bold. Type in cable. Bill. This is the first labels. Copy this label and move to the second label. Click Paste, delete the second paragraph, and replace Cable with Internet. Repeat this process for each bill. Let's go down to the third label. Paste. Delete the second paragraph. Replace cable with wireless phone bills. Next label. Paste. Delete. Natural gas bills. And last but not least, electricity bills.
Let's check the labels we created by clicking on each in page layout. Cable bills, internet bills, wireless phone bills, natural gas bills, electricity bills, and a blank. Again, the text should be centered, but let me show you another way to fix this later. Click Next and Finish. Reduce the zoom to around 125%. Now let's center the text. Select the document by clicking on the Select All box. In the Paragraph section, select Line Spacing Options. And under before the paragraph, bump that up to 12 point. That's much better. Let's save and print these labels. Click File, Save As. We would have a Avery label folder. And let's name it something that we can identify. Let's go with File. folder Avery labels 2181 for bills hit save now let's print this go to file select print here we see a copy of the labels. They look good. To print the labels, insert the mini sheet with the labels facing down and top end inserted first. Push gently until you feel the sheet stop and slide the left guard to the edge of the sheet. Notice if you only had a half sheet, it gets harder because you can't slide the sheet all the way to the back without removing this tray. And even then it's difficult to get your fingers back there. Let's print. Five file folder labels neatly printed. If you are paying close attention, you may be wondering why I picked the template for a mini sheet, six labels, and then inserted a 12 label mini sheet. It works because for six or less labels, the position of the labels are exactly the same as the 12 label mini sheet since it's the top half. But also, let me show you what happens if you pick a 12 label mini sheet to begin with. Open Avery Wizard, click Next, and enter 2181, and search. This time select Filing Labels. Notice the page layout says Preview Not Available. 
click Next. Select the blank template, Next. It says the template that you chose will be transferred to Microsoft Word. Click Finish to close the Avery Wizard and edit in Microsoft Word. Don't panic. Click Finish. Reduce the zoom level down to around 125 percent. You can enter text and graphics as you would normally in a Microsoft Word table. I can't explain why Avery's Wizard doesn't provide a page layout, but at least you have an accurate visual layout of the mini sheet in Microsoft Word. I'm going to reduce this even further, and you can see the 12 labels. Let's type in Federal Tax Return 2012 on the eighth label. There's six labels, down two more. Put the cursor in the center of the paragraph. Change the font size to 18, bold, and type. Federal Tax Return 2012. The Avery Wizard is easier to work in, but you can actually do more in Microsoft Word. Of course, you can save and print just as before.